Hi there. All right, so um, I got a request for how to split a, an STL model, which is a 3D printing model, in half. And so I'm going to be as quick as I can, but I need to be thorough, so I'm going to show a couple different methods. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is just come over here to File, and I'm going to... Uh, actually, I'm not going to do that at all. Um, what I'm going to do is... Well, actually, okay, File, User Preferences, you can hit this and it will bring up a floating window or you can just take your 3D view and you can go to user preferences it will turn your 3D view into the user preferences area and then um, type in STL and right here where it says import export STL format you'll just want to make sure that that is checked and if you want it to, to stay as an option an import option then what you do is you come in here to file import and you see STL and the same thing with export if you want that to be you know always available then you just hit save user settings so then I'm going to click on this and go back to the 3d view alright so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here to import and I'm going to select the STL file and I'll just select this right here it's just a quick little widget that I made and it's uh, not really symmetrical at all Except if I could guess if you're looking at it from this view, uh, these boxes are. But anyway, um, all right, so let's pretend this is our uh, 3D model that we want to split. So the first thing that you'll want to do, I'm in object mode right here, and so I'm going to go to the number pad and I'm going to hit 1 and 5, and what that's going to do is take me into the front view and orthographic view. Right up here it says front ortho, okay, and then I'm going to hit tab and go to edit mode now usually with STL files they're kinda of messy they've all been triangulated and even if you uh, do quad, uh, tries to quads it's still pretty messy so we'll just go ahead and work with it like this alright so what I'm gonna do is if you can see everything selected so I'm gonna hit A to deselect it I'm gonna hit Z and then I'm gonna choose wireframe mode it just kinda of helps alright and then I'm gonna hit K to go to the knife mode and uh, down at the bottom you can see there's a bunch of different options so if you need to know how this you know what your options are but anyway I'm gonna hit Z and that's gonna allow me to cut through the entire model instead of just making a cut on the the front polys and then I'm gonna do C because that is an angle constraint and I believe that's everything and then I'm gonna go ahead and just click on the left button and I'm gonna drag it and I just kind of eyeballed the knife into the center, okay? Um, there is a way to snap it to the midpoint, but that won't help us when there's a bunch of tri triangles. So I'll just, I'll do this and then I'll just show you the other way. Real, but um, anyway, so now what I'm going to hit the left mouse button or, or enter. Let me try that again here. K, Z, and C. You can just do it all at one time. All right, I'm going to hit that. And I'm going to hit enter. All right, and so now the cut that I made is selected. I'm going to immediately hit the V key which is going to rip the mesh and then I'm going to hit the left mouse button or enter again and then that is going to uh, basically accept the operation. Then I'm going to hit control L and what that's going to do is select linked all so it, and it's random as to which side it, it picks but so it picked the right side. Now I'm going to hit P and I'm going to go to my separate menu and if my object began as a solid contiguous mesh then if I hit separate by loose parts it's going to literally just create two objects but it, selecting this option will do the same thing for me so I'm just gonna click that right now alright so now I've got two if I go back into object mode which I did by just hitting tab and you know, swiping over in my pie menu over here this is your selector as well for the different modes I've got two different objects here. I'm just using the right mouse button to select them. Okay? And so, all you need to do now is I just need to fill in the side. So I'm going to go ahead and just select this side right here. And then I'm going to hit the, um, I don't know if it's the backslash or the forward slash, but it's the, it's the slash on the top of the number pad. Alright? Numpad slash right there. And then I'm going to go into edit mode. Alright? So, if I go into solid view, you can see that I need to fill in this piece. 
Um, it doesn't matter whether or not you're in uh, vertex select, mesh select mode, or edges. But what you do is you, you uh, hold down Alt while you're right mouse button clicking, and you will select the entire edge loop. And then I'm going to hit F to make a face. And then I'm going to hit Control T to triangulate the faces. And then I'm going to hit Alt J to make them quads, just so that it's not so messy. All right. And so that's good enough uh, for 3D printing. This is not going to come in with any errors. This is going to be just a single watertight mesh. And uh, so, all right. Now I'm going to hit the the numpad slash again, and to, and then that's going to take me back, you know, so I can see everything. I'm going to right click on the other object, numpad slash again. That just takes you into local view, so you're basically hides everything else except for the thing that you're trying to work on. All right. And then I'm going to go into edit mode. Same thing. It's just out of habit. I always do the edge, but it does work with vertices. And um, just so you can see what I'm doing, I'm going to hit Z and go into solid. All right. And so then I'm going to hit F to make the faces again. Control T to triangulate. Alt J to uh, just make quads. All right. So now I've got both pieces. I'm going to go out of local view. And now you can see that I have got two parts. And so that was how we successfully split those. If if I needed to, um, you can see down here the gizmo. We've got the the Y going this way. So if I needed to, I could rotate. Actually, sorry. If you hit rotate and then Y, okay, then it's going to rotate it on the Y. And if you know, like down here at the bottom, bottom left, you can see the rotation value. So if I do 90, but then I know that it's a negative, so I hit the minus afterwards and hit enter, then I've just rotated that part. Same thing with this. I could rotate it on the Y, and it looks like I'm in the positive, so then I just hit 90. And there we go. Now I've got these two um, pieces right here, and they would just print on the bed, just like that. Um, all right, so let's show another way. Let's go ahead and just start over. New. I'll use the same STL file for this. Um, import STL widget. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm in object mode, and um, instead of eyeballing it, because remember with the knife tool, we were uh, making the cut just kind of with our our eye as to where the center line was. So I'm going to hit uh, Shift A, and I'm going to add a mesh plane. All right. And then again, this Y right here is the axis that I want to rotate my plane on. But first, what I want to do is I want to scale it up. So I'm going to hit S to scale, and I'm going to drag it out as long as I, as big as I want it, and then hit the left mouse button or Enter to set that size. Okay. Then what I want to do is I want to rotate it. Okay, in the 90. It could be in the 90 and negative or the positive. It doesn't matter. It's still going to bring it to this to this point. Okay. So I'm, I'm basically making a plane to use as a, as a splitting tool. All right. So now what I'm going to do is with this splitting plane. Uh, just regular plane. I'm going to use the splitting tool. Select it. I'm going to um, hold down shift and right mouse button click onto this object that I want to cut into. Okay. I'm going to go into the front view. I'm already in orthographic. And then I want to go to edit mode. I'll just go ahead and use it down here just to show that, that that can also be used. And just for fun, I'm going to go into wireframe mode here. All right. So now I'm going to go to. Uh, let me explain something here. If this is not showing, this is the tool shelf. You can either hit this little plus button right here to make that appear, or you can hit your T key. Uh, I apologize for this information that's right here. That is from another tool called uh, Speedflow Companion, and it's helpful, but it's probably confusing to you. So let me just uh, turn that off. All right. So anyway, um, I, you can also open this up with the T key, and so I'm in edit mode, and I open up the mesh tools, roll out, and here is knife project. Okay, so I'm going to click on knife project, and then I'm going to come down here into this operator panel, or what you could also do is you can hit F6, and it will bring up those same options. I'm going to select cut through. All right, and there we go. Um, I don't need to hit enter or anything. I'm done. I'm going to go into object mode. I'm going to select that and just delete it. So now when I go into here, I have got, um, 
me just go to solid view here. You can see that we have just cut this thing, you know, right, right down the middle on the axis. Okay, so I'm going to go into front view. I'm in orthographic view still. I'm going to go into wireframe mode. I'm going to select faces. I'm going to hit B to select the box select, and I'm going to just drag all the way till I've got that center line. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit P, and I'm going to go ahead and select that object mode. All right. So now what I've got is I've got my two pieces again, and it's the same exact workflow. You can just uh, isolate it, and then you can go into edge or vertex mode and Alt RMB to select it, face, control T for triangles, Alt J. You know, there is there are going to be some messy things here. You, you know, you could go and clean these things up if you wanted, um, but it should print just fine, so it's not totally necessary. I always clean stuff, but I'm really weird about that. Anyway, so that's how you do it. You know, you just uh, it didn't have to be it didn't have to take a long time. Oops. Once you know what you're doing, um, you know you can get this stuff done pretty quick. But so that's a real technical way of doing it. Uh, and then there's also just the visual eyeballing it method. There are a ton of, of uh, Boolean operations that you can do in Blender. And there's also a ton of add-ons that you can do for cutting, bisecting. You know, you can even you can bisect in, um, models. What bisecting is, is uh, you would go to um, edit mode select your meshes that you want to cut through, hit bisect. You can just you can draw the line right through it. And then you've got a bunch of options right here. You could um, select fill and you can clear like the outer or you can clear the inner. But that really doesn't help uh, because you lose one side or else you know you, you could use the bisect tool. Anyway, don't don't worry about that. But my my point was there's a ton of uh, really cool Boolean operations and add-ons out there. But what I just showed you is just a really surefire way of being able to split an object into two pieces, and um, you know, especially for like STL files. So hopefully that helps. Um, if you have any questions, let me know.